Hi, welcome to NamukMerchMasala.com. Today we're going to show you how to make catfish curry. So you're going to need the following ingredients. Two pounds of catfish, six cloves of garlic and one inch ginger, one and a half red onions, two teaspoons of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili, two tablespoons of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a lemon, one half teaspoon fenugreek seeds. You'll also need corn oil and one bunch of cilantro, which isn't pictured here. So the first step is to peel and slice both of your onions. Next, you're gonna take a full onion and add it to the blender. You're gonna add about half a cup of water to the blender. And you're gonna blend it until they're both liquid. Okay, so once that's completely liquid, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add your garlic and your ginger to the blender, and then you're gonna liquefy it again. The next step is to add one cup of corn oil to your pan and set the stove to medium heat. You can also use olive oil if you wish. Once you've added the oil to the pan, you're going to add half a cup of onions. Um, and you're going to fry these for about four to five minutes until your onions have turned a golden brown color. Obviously, you want to avoid burning the onions, so make sure you stir the onions around um, until they're that nice, that nice golden color. Okay, so you can see here that the edges are golden brown. So when I say the onion should turn golden brown, I don't mean the entire onion turns golden brown, I just mean you get this nice little golden color at the edges. The next step is to add fenugreek seeds to your mix. Then you're going to add your blender mix to the pan. Add the turmeric powder, the coriander powder, the red chili, and the salt to the pan. So you're also gonna add one cup of water to the pan. You can see how watery this pan is. It's gonna be important in a later step to get rid of this water so you get that nice curry-like texture. Finally, you're going to add the catfish and you're gently gonna move the catfish around for 10 minutes on medium heat. And you're gonna do this in order to cook the catfish evenly. To avoid breaking the catfish into tiny little pieces, move the catfish around gently. 
Once you've cooked it for about 10 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cover the catfish and you're gonna cook it for another seven to eight minutes. So after you've cooked the catfish for about seven to eight minutes with the lid cover on, you're gonna take the lid cover off and you're gonna cook it again without its cover. And you're doing this to evaporate the water out of the pan. So initially the curry is gonna have a very, very watery texture. And so what you're trying to do is basically get that water to evaporate. Once that water evaporates, you're gonna go from having a watery texture to having a very thick, oily, curry-like consistency. So if you look at the spoon right here, you can see that this curry now has a thick consistency to it. So lastly, you're gonna add some lemon juice and you're gonna add some cilantro. So you're just gonna take this bunch of cilantro and you're just gonna chop it up. Then you just add the cilantro to the, um, to the, to the pot and then you will add lemon juice. And that's basically it. And if you take a close look at this pot, you'll see that there's very tiny bubbles and there's not a lot of water evaporating at all anymore. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this catfish curry recipe. Um, please do leave a comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and check out our website for more recipes at namakmirchmasala.com. Thanks.